that's going to be just a joyous period of time. Fucking great. That's just so good. Oh, that's just wonderful fucking news. Good thing that there's only one cheating McDouchebag in this game. Because otherwise we'd, be, we'd still be leading by three races. But no. Now we lead by basically nothing. It's basically not even... It's not a thing. We're not winning this championship. Fucking awesome. Just what a fucking awesome race that was. And we get to do it again at California. Can't fucking wait. Who's on the pole? Not fucking Hornaday. I'm actually shocked. Well, he'll drive up through the field. Either way. This will just be like the Darlington truck race from last season. When it looked like it was going to be a guaranteed successful race. And then we still finish behind the guy that was second in points. Okay, I need to figure out how to drive this track again. So you need to get into the brakes here, then get back into the brakes in the center of the corner. Could have done that better, and then you can actually flat foot three and four, I'm pretty sure. Once you get down to the inside. Not really. Alright, well that was terrible. Well, it's still the pole, so what you gonna do? Cool. Whatever. Whatever. We're not winning the championship, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. So much for qualifying at Bristol. No, I'm not in the fucking mood for fans. I think we can kind of do what we did at Red Ball in the truck series. And we could probably take two tires. I might be just insane enough to do that. Give that a shot, you know? Yeah. 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 What's up, Doc? Don't care. Or maybe I do care. I guess I'll never know because... Yeah, this will give me some time to scroll through the, uh, whatchamacallit. Order delivered! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, guys! Order delivered! Finally got the Squidward car. Where the hell is Hornaday? See all the way in the back? What the f I must have missed him. There's no way he's in the back. There's no fucking way. Yeah, I missed him. What the fuck? Is he not in this race? That'd be even better. Oh, he's starting 16th. Well, that's on the outside, so... We should be able to cycle him all the way to the back either way. As long as he stays on the outside on the start. Which probably won't, because... That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? So we're definitely not going to win this race, but I think we did decent at Bristol earlier in the season. We probably had like a, like a top 10 car, and since Hornaday's in the back, well, we should be pretty good. I'm thinking I might be stupid and take two tires in this race. Just to make sure that the pit crew don't fuck us up and make us be in the 20s like in the truck series last season. Oh my god. See, because it already doesn't turn. I don't think it's going to make it any better. I don't think changing anything's really going to change that, so... And it already doesn't turn out of turn two, so nothing's gonna change that. See, see. Plus, it's a short race. I mean, the tire wear really doesn't care about the race length. It kind of just does its own thing, as you can see. Just gonna let this guy just go right on by. So there you go. It really is. And the only thing that really matters is just staying on the bottom the whole time. Here, I think you can make your pit road adjustments on the actual track because we're not going to have enough time to make this decision when we come down pit road. So we are going to keep the wedge where it's at, right side tires only. There we go. All right. I'm locking it in. Locking it in, ladies and gentlemen. That's my final answer. At least Bobby Hamilton's getting some wins in before he becomes a douchebag in the future. What a way to carry on your 
dead father's legacy, Bobby Hamlin Jr. Way to be a douchebag. Man. Wonder if Bobby Hamilton Sr. would have turned out to be like a Ron Hornaday kind of guy. Where he would have probably been like one of those guys that was fighting it out in the truck series in the late 2000s. But he just died at the worst possible time because that was right when the truck series started taking on. Alright, we're loose already. It's only going to get worse from here, guys. It's only going to get worse from here, car. Because here comes the fucking right side tires only at Bristol. Oh, man. I've made a horrible decision on this day. Oh, uh, why aren't there tires on my car? Okay, it was just a weird shadow. I thought they didn't load in the wheels for a second there. Well, here we go. Okay, we just need to watch out for people coming down pit road. Just like that, right there. Just like exactly that. All right. Mark's the leader for now. That's cool. And if we get a big enough lead from this, we might not even need to worry about red balling it. Red balling it, I mean just blocking the inside as hard as possible. Okay, so we're in the lead. By a margin. By a hefty margin. Damn. That was a good decision. We might just have a big enough lead that it won't matter. We might just have a big enough lead. And this race should be short enough that the tires shouldn't blow out. At least, hopefully, anyway. Yeah, we got a three-second lead. That's a lot of time to play with. And there's a gaggle of cars up here. Oh, God. Lap traffic. I need to put as much lap traffic between me and second as possible. It really doesn't make that much of a difference where we finish in this race, just as long as it's in the top five. Oh, the lead is... The lead is getting eaten up pretty quick. It's getting eaten up a lot quicker than I thought it would. Oh, shit. Well, this isn't good. Yeah, there's going to be bogeys on my ass in a moment. It's driving pretty decently for our being only on two tires. You know, the car, it's, it's not that bad. It's a bit tight, but like beyond that, like, it's, it's driving fine. We're not ridiculously loose. Which is awesome news. The car's not even driving that bad on two tires. In fact, this is probably the strategy I'm going to use in the truck race next. So it's a good good time for some practice. Who is that in second? Is that the Dwayne Borland guy? Well, we're probably going to have an epic two-lap battle to the finish here. Because the, tire the, the tires that I said were really good a few seconds ago, well, they're not cutting it. We've got decent speed in the car from these tires. For two tires, like most races, when you take two tires, you're not even going to be, you're not even going to be close. It's going to be horrible. But this appears to be going just fine. He might even, he might even even put on a fucking challenge. Cause he's going to the outside for some reason. Shit! I did not expect this, but I think we're going to win this race. Hot damn! Wow. Vale, vale, interesting. Huh. And Hornaday didn't even get a top 10. Finally, a 50-point shift in my favor. This is a fucking Christmas miracle. That's never a thing that happens. Where'd he finish? Probably not this far down, but maybe he did. Oh, my God, he finished 30th. Oh, shit. Oh, this changes everything. Wow, 5,000 prestige points. Holy shit. And just the fact that I had rivals gave me villain points, even though I touched no one this entire race. I made zero contact with anyone on that race, and I still got 2,000 villain points from it. Shut up. Oh, that was Jason Keller, huh? Yeah, we just dropped down a level in the hero meter. It really doesn't matter because it's pretty much impossible to sh share draft with people anyway, so the hero villain meter really doesn't matter in this game. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, I just gained 120 points. 
what the fuck? That's, uh, that's strange. How many poll awards do we have? Ten. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, where's my rape whistle?